on this last one, this is a kind of funny one right here. It's from 21 Project. 21 Project. 21. It's 21, funny. 21. It's kind of funny to me. <laughs> Can you and Deke talk about how y'all met and how your chemistry works? I love y'all perspective. Yours being more football educated, Deke being more gut based. To me, they both have value. Keep it up, though. <laughs> Dude, honestly, before I answer this, I, I'm looking back on what I said to you like ten minutes ago. I was like, I appreciate, I, I appreciate you bringing that up. I appreciate your yeah. perspective, dude. Like, I'm the, you know, I'm the the godsend of the NFL knowledge. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> how do we meet? Are, yeah, yeah, this is how we meet in uh, our chemistry. How does it work, man? <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I, I got, I got. Make like, it good too, man. Don't come up here and, and give us this weak, extra watered down, lame sauce story, man. You better make you sure serious? that thing sound right, man. Give it to him, man. Talk to him, man. Really? Tell. All right, all right. You want me to tell him? Or you want? Well, no, no. Well, because from my perspective, I probably got like before we met. I probably got a story that goes yeah. a couple weeks or a month before we us right. actually meeting that we're leads up. Talking to about it. that strip club we were at, right? <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, the other star. All right, my bad. My, you never know. You never know. Deke said he loved the wings. Lou Will was there with some crazy nonsense going on. He was getting in a fight. A couple bartenders. It kind of got reckless. He ain't had a beard. Then he had long hair. And then from there, man, it was like, yo, you record? He's like, yeah. He was like, do you record? And I was like, yeah. Well, no, that, yeah, that was interesting yeah. because we didn't even know each other at that point. Yeah, but then, man, like, we linked up like a, was nice. a month later because we I, I can't even remember like it was just crazy yeah. uh we mentioned something about like i i did podcasts you were mm-hmm. trying to get into it a little bit and i hit you up like i i don't know why i didn't hit you up earlier but mm-hmm. i was just like dude uh, this might be a good idea maybe yeah. there's something something to this <laughs> oh that story is terrible he's trash come on man you gotta give me a better story than that baby no you want the, i mean the real story give him the story you, man are you being serious here give him the story you all right um, oh, you want me to give him the story no, I, we I could I could give my like so my it, side. We were in it. Vegas. <laughs> it was the Mayweather fight. Mayweather, Mayweather McGregor. Everybody knows that fight was a pretty big fight, right? We, we were that's standing. Why, at, that's why I don't fight anymore. Yeah, we were standing at the Bellagio. <laughs> some things got said, making some bets. Somebody socked them. I socked somebody, and then before we know, we had this big brawl. We ended up running out of there, but we made it, man. We we even. <laughs> It was nuts, man. It was nuts. I think I saw what was what was the dude's name, man? Uh, Tyson. Yeah, Tyson was even running through there. Not big Tyson, little Tyson. Not not Fury, the other one, Mike. Yeah, he was running around. Yeah, man, get man, come go get him, man. Feel man. I was like, all right, bro, let's do that, bro. And after that, we got out of there. Ended up at Waffle House like three in the morning. It was good, man. It was fun. Yeah. And I was like, yo, you trying to record? He was like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, because what would that would have been in August, right? Yeah, man. So yeah, the season deal, was coming up. Yeah, yeah, and it just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they want the real story? Give the people the real story, man. They tired of waiting. Give them the story, man. Give them the story, Deep Dang, man. For <laughs> real this time. For real, for real. All right. Really? Yeah, All yeah, right. yeah. It's on for real. Yeah, it's on for real. So, uh, man, uh, I was working insurance a little bit. Um, actually, I, I liked it. I liked my boss and everything, but I wanted to just try to take those selling skills and, and start my own um, like company, like marketing, social media, because I, I'd learned those skills previously mm. before I got into insurance. I did a lot of experimenting with that type of stuff in podcasts. So I had a bunch of that knowledge, learned some selling skills and was like, man, why, why don't I try to start my own company? So I quit insurance. I didn't have anything lined up. I was like, you know what? Because I, I still live with my parents. So I got, I mm. kind of have leverage from that standpoint. I had money saved up and everything. I was like, I'm going to quit. And, uh, literally like a week or two after um one of our good friends i'm actually wearing the hoodie from uh Shout no lag no lag jared in the building hits me up and says yo i got a, uh, I got arthur motes here he's trying he's looking for someone to do some like media production for him and what's funny is he hit me up and i think you hit him up based off some of the videos that were on his instagram mm-hmm. i didn't do any of those videos yeah Right, so mm-hmm. yeah, he hit me up, and he actually hit up another dude with me. It was like a group chat, and the other dude couldn't make it for the meeting. I I made it there, and uh, we chop it up down at No Lack Shop, yeah. and just like we're we're going for it's like yo, what are you looking for with mm-hmm. this? You know what? This is what I'm capable of. I could do this, this, and this, and uh, yeah, it just it made sense on both parts. And then we we're like, you want to record the next day and, and figure something out. And so I, I came over the next day, Thursday, mm-hmm. and it was just starting off. You could even look back on your Instagram. It was literally just IGTV. That was it. 
little segments. They were like four or five minutes long mm-hmm. where you were just given quick updates on NFL or Steelers or, news. Yeah, and at and, the time, there was the AAF was going on too. During yeah, the time and frame. you know, yeah. I I was better with like audio and podcasts, but mm-hmm. I mean, I was like, I, I can, I can. I'm limited right now in terms of my video editing, but yeah. I can get there. Like you just right. have to trust me. Like I'm gonna keep improving. Mm-hmm. And so even the first, you you really like the first one. And then yeah, looking yeah, back, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean now where we're at now compared to then, you're like whoa. But I mean I just think as a whole we've both evolved so well, dude, much because that's then, all man. that's all it was. But I think yeah. in every step of the process to where we're at right now, it was always like all right, we we have this figured out. Like we had the IGTV stuff figured out. Right. Like all right, this is going well what can we do next? Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, you ever think about a podcast? And yeah. you initially were like, nah, I don't want to do podcasts. Yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> I was like, I was like, dude, I can make it really simple for you though. Yeah. You know, you could go off and, and start talking. I could just maybe be a producer in the background mm-hmm. if you need someone to run your yeah, ideas like off second of. second mic type thing. But yeah. it would, you know, it'd be easy to do like even the yeah. process of um, getting the audio up and everything. But then that evolved like, yeah, let's start doing video with the podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, it's always, what can we do better? How can we make we, this better? And then we started doing video and we're like, yeah, let's put this joint to YouTube. Yeah. And then we got that down <laughs> and I was like, yeah, let's some, do some film sessions. Right. And we were doing the tailgate stuff. But like, mm-hmm. that's the cool thing. It's just evolved ever since that, that first meeting. Absolutely. And, and from my <laughs> perspective, it was like this. Um, I had just got back from Arizona. I was still rehabbing my knee. <clears throat> and from there, I was kind of, I already knew I wanted to retire even before I had like publicly announced it. And I was thinking about, man, all right, I know I want to do broadcasting, uh, media broadcasting. I had some opportunities, <clears throat> but just not enough. I was like, man, when I hop into a new field, like I want to just do everything. And I wasn't getting those opportunities at that particular point, obviously because it was the off season. And yeah, I literally started out recording on my phone. I'm like, bro, this is like, I, I need help. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like I don't specialize in video and editing or audio and all this other stuff. So I reached out to my boy. I'm like, man, I see you recording stuff, man. Like, do you got a guy? Let me talk to him. And he shows me the guy that he was using at the time. and was like, yo, this is the guy's work. I loved it. So oh, I see. I didn't even know yeah, this. Yeah, I thought he just randomly hit no. up two of us uh, so without had, even talking about yeah, it. So, wow. we already, so we had a guy that he was already using. So that's why he was like, yo, come down to the shop and meet him. So I'm like, all right, let's do that then. And then on the day of, he tells me like, yo, the one dude can't make it, but I got the other guy here. You still going to pull up. <laughs> and at the time, I'm like, what well, do you wow. got any of his? I swear. So at the time, I'm like, you have any of his work? <laughs> He's like, no. Nah. So I'm like, well, you know what? Bump it. I'm gonna take the chance. Like, no I don't. Way. I promise you, I don't know what made me say I'm gonna take the chance. So I'm like, all right, let me just pull up. And I remember being mad when I was parking. Like, bro, if I come down here, and this is some nonsense, I'm gonna be so hot right now because <laughs> transparency, right? Uh, about two weeks before this meeting happened, I had put on my social media, yo, I'm looking for somebody that can do audio and, and editing. If you are interested in working for my company, reach out to me. Obviously, if I put that on social media, you could just imagine the type of responses I got. So I was like, dang, like I, I feel like I was never going to find somebody without having to pay just crazy amounts because I didn't want to deal with some of the other people that were emailing me and things like that. But like I said, man, I, I remember pulling up. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, yo, if this is one of those scenarios, I'm going to be so hot. And I remember we sat down, we had this conversation, and I think you might have showed me something on your phone maybe, while we were sitting down there. Something I did in the past. And yeah. from there, it was like, you know what? It can't hurt. <laughs> Pull up, let's do this, man. Yeah, what did I say? I yeah. was like, I'll do the first month you said free. You do the first month just, free. And we'll figure it out. And after ultimately, that. <laughs> that was the selling point because literally I had I probably had three finalists lined up, right? And one was a chick, one was a guy. The the chick, I loved her work, but her turnaround was too long. She was saying that it would take probably four to five days. And obviously, with football and sports, I'm like, yeah, this is time sensitive. I would need 48 hours worst case scenario but i prefer 24 hours so if you can't give me that that's not gonna work then i had another guy who could give me 24 hours but what he was charging i'm like i'm not paying that <laughs> for this i mean for that i might as well go call up one of these networks and go about our business that way and then it was like all right well this dude right here <laughs> says he'll do the first one for free and he was like just trial and error so i'm like all right i love incentive-based work because if you really trust your work if you really believe in yourself it's going to sell itself. And ultimately, if it's if it's up to par like it should be, you're going to get the money. So literally, that first month goes by. But man, those first couple episodes, I was like, bro, just seeing, number one, how it was a burden lift off me because I didn't have to worry about editing. So I could just worry about yeah. focusing on the mic and doing that thing. And then from there, it was like, yo, this quality is crazy. And it just kept getting better. And I remember 
like I said, I was super anti-podcast because I felt like everybody <laughs> and their mother has a podcast. And I'm like, bro, I am not doing a podcast. Because it wasn't like you just brought it up once. It was like, yo, what about the podcast? I did a podcast. <laughs> man, I interviewed this guy, man. You ever thought about doing a podcast? I'm like, bro, I'm cool <laughs> on podcasts. But sure enough, man, we was like, yo, let's just, all right, let's try it. And we talked about basketball, movies, uh, that was, drums. That was what was going on. It, it was, was so it random. Was in April and May when we started. So it was yeah. just like, that's this is what's going on. Let's figure it out. Absolutely. And then from there, it was like, well, you know, this kind of fun. I liked it a lot more because it's not as choppy as like radio. So I was like, man, at least with this, we can really dive into it without having to be so segmented. Bam, right? This topic, that topic, that topic. So I really love that element of it. And then from there, man, it just kept growing. And now we have a full beast just, yeah, emerging. And we, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, man. It's been a great journey, though. And I mean, shoot, like I said, it's been fun with you. But even for everybody that's been along the journey, because we have people that have been there since the beginning of us, man. So, yeah, we definitely appreciate it. Yeah, for sure, man. That's wild. I didn't. Yes, bro. I did not know that you were thinking about not doing the meeting. I, like, I was time. because literally wow. the, the day of, he hits me up and he's like, bro, my man can't be here, but I got this other guy. Are you interested? And I'm just like, well, shoot, I'm already like, I've already had it in my schedule. Like. I'm going to pull up. We're going to see what happens. And I, I definitely remember parking and like, bro, if this is nonsense, I'm going to be so mad. That's all I kept saying because I had to pay to park first off because, you know, down south side, you got to pay to park. I'm like, bro, I'm paying to park. I don't even know if I'm going to get the guy I want. And I don't even know this dude's quiet because I haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> like, I don't even know this dude's legit. What? <laughs> like, yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, I've told you this part before, but I didn't include it mm -hmm. in, in the initial part of my story. But Whenever I quit the insurance, I specifically told my boss at yeah. the time, because I'm still cool. I'm actually going out to lunch with him this week. Mm -hmm. I told him, I was like, yeah, just don't tell anyone. I want to, you know, I want to prove myself and, and do mm -hmm. all this behind the scenes and, and build something up on my own. <laughs> like specifically told him, don't tell anyone. Yeah. He meets with Jared, no lack, like this literally crazy. the next day or that week. I don't know when he met with him, but he let it spill to Jared. Crazy. That I quit. So <laughs> no one was, he wasn't supposed to know. Right. But he only knew that I quit insurance because my boss told him, even though he wasn't supposed mm. to, which is like the wildest thing. Yeah. He, Jared was literally the only one knew that I quit insurance. And the time he have, was perfect. He bro. wouldn't have hit me up if he knew I was still doing insurance. Yeah. That's the like the wildest thing. It's crazy. So like your part's crazy because like it didn't feel like it should have happened on your part. Yeah. But like on mine, it's it was one of those things too. It's like, wow, that was lucky. So yeah. Uh, That's why I told every like anyone that talks nuts, to me in bro. person nuts. about it. I'm like, I, I got lucky, man. Bro. But I guess it's one you, of those you things. Say you, you got lucky, and I'll be over here saying the same thing. Yeah, like, bro, like, we, it's, we, it's I'm lucky into that thing, man. Like legit. Cause you know I'm into like the motivation stuff. I guess as much as i don't take myself seriously i am into like mm -hmm. yo if you got a shot take it no you know absolutely, what i mean man. like no matter how nervous you are or how afraid like just just do it just yeah. try it you're never gonna know unless you try very true and i remember once i started it man people telling me bro like why are you trying to start your own thing go get on a network dude do that because it's safer it's you know the money's there you don't have to worry about what you're gonna be dishing on the front end and hoping that it could turn out then they tell you whoa man you look at how many people start this and how many of them end within this many episodes you look at how many people try to start small businesses and you even majored in that so you even know more about these details and i was still just like bro I just believe it, man. I believe it. Yeah. And kind of like we said, man, you just take your chance. <laughs> and shoot, it's been money, man. It's been working. So we're going to keep this thing rolling. 